Hey, welcome back to the studio. There's a new kid on the block, the World Indoor Cycling Rankings. And today, I'm gonna to deep dive into what it's all about, how you can get involved, and how I think it suits all kinds of riders, whether you're a sprinter, a puncher, or a climber. So let's dive straight in. Today, we're gonna to be looking at the World Indoor Cycling Rankings, a new series, a new ranking system, which is trying to take on Zwift Power. Some really unique features on the World Indoor Cycling Rankings. We're gonna take a look at the website in a bit more detail, have a look at the point system. The cool thing about this system, it doesn't matter if you're a sprinter, a puncher, or a climber, there's something there for you. 30 events to choose from for, per month. You only need to do three to count towards your ranking system. It's in fact your top three events on a monthly basis which will count towards your ranking. And again, you could do this as an individual or a team. There's no limit on team numbers. There's a minimum of three, I believe, but no maximum. But in terms of a team ranking point, it's your top 10 scoring riders throughout the month, which will count towards your ranking system. You know the ranking points are available before you turn up to the event. That's very akin to the British Cycling way of doing their points for the road racing there. And I think that's really, really cool. And again, there are three level of events, bronze, silver, and gold. Bronze events being 15 to 20 minutes long, silver around 30 to 40 minutes, and the gold events tend to be 60 to 70 minutes long. And again, with each one of those categories, there's a sprinting option, a point option, or a climbing option. So there really is something for every style of rider. All right, so let's take a look on the website in a bit more detail. First of all, let's have a look at the different categories we've got available. So again, I did say it's split categories. So we've got A plus A, B plus B, C plus C, and then a D category. For ladies, we've got A, B, C, and D, and obviously you can see the FTP categorization there. So an A plus rider basically being 4.6 watts per kilogram or above with wattage floors of 300. A, 4 to 4.59 and again, a wattage floor of 250 watts. So again, you're guaranteed to be racing riders of a similar ability. And what I mean, again, just to emphasize the fact that I'm not a big, big sprinter, I'm more of a punching rider. So again, I can choose a race or an event which suits my ability as a puncher, and I'm not gonna be there categorized with the big 15 to 16 watt a kilo sprinters trying to earn those points. All right, so let's take a look at the events and the ranking points and how that pans out. So basically the way they've done this is three levels of ranking points. And again, you've got a bronze, silver or gold. And again, those are levels of races. So the bronze races typically are gonna be 15 to 20 minutes long. The silver events, 30 to 40 minutes long approximately. And the gold events, only maximum points of a thousand points there for the winner. 60 to 70 minutes long. And again, with each one of those categories, you've got a bronze climbing, sprinter, puncher, silver, climber, sprinter, puncher, and gold, the same way that's split. So again, you can do a climbing course if you want to. I think the first one round is Lorraine, for example, in France. It's a gold level race with a maximum point of a thousand points across the finish line there. It is worth highlighting there are also fastest through segment points, additional points available on these particular courses. So let's head over and look at the schedule, which I said starts in the 1st of November. Basically, it's a weekly schedule. So November the 2nd to the 6th, we do Wednesday, Friday and Sunday. We've got Innsbruck, we've got the Chain Chomper and then we've got Lady Liberty there. So again, you've got more of a sprinting course, a punchers course and a climbing course. Week two, we've got three sisters, Downtown Dolphin, and then the Surrey Hills. And then the final week, the 16th to 20th, these are the gold level events. You've got Lorraine, so taking on the Venn top climb there. We've got the World's Harrogate Circuit, three laps of that, so taking in the punchy Yorkshire KOM. And then we've got the Electric Loop, so also something for the sprinters there. So interestingly, that you've got all the bronze events in week one, all the silver events in week two, and all the gold events in week three. So I guess the idea there is that if you're a sprinter, you could also, you could do a bronze, silver, and gold event throughout the three weeks. And they've got the week four, they've just got one event there, dust in the wind. Again, maybe that's a makeup event if you've had a holiday or you've missed a week's racing. 
All right, so in terms of the team rankings, again, the other unique thing about this is it doesn't matter how many riders, you can have as many riders as you want in a particular race or team, but it's your top 10 riders from the month will count towards your team's total at the end of the month and those monthly and quarterly rankings. The other cool thing I really like about this series is the way that they've done power-up. So everybody is gonna get the same power-up and everyone's gonna get it at the same point. So yes, there's some gamification, but it's about the skill of when you wanna deploy that power-up and utilize it to take advantage. And I really like that aspect of this particular series. So that's it, that's the World Indoor Cycling Rankings. In a nutshell, I'll leave details of the website and how your team can register down in the description below. I'm certainly gonna be giving this a go and hopefully some of the team will be joining me. We've got our registration in and I look forward to seeing you on the roads on Zwift for the World Indoor Cycling Rankings. Ride on.